click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the lipids and now in this topic we are going to talk about hormones. So what are hormones and what are the main function of those? Let me talk about that in this topic. <music> Hello friends, in this topic we are going to talk about hormones. So now let us understand what is the definition of hormones. So hormones are the chemicals secreted by the ductless glands and are transported by the bloodstream to different parts of the body where they control different physiological actions of the body. So in this case, hormones are basically present in our body in a less quantity, but they play a very vital role. For example, if you talk about that is thyroxine, if you talk about insulin, if you talk about that is estrogen, progesterone that are being present in women and talking about that is testosterone in males. So this all have a basic function and that function is very much important. For example, if you talk about thyroxine, so thyroxine is basically secreted by a particular gland that has been present in our neck and in that case basically that hormones it will increase the consumption of the oxygen and that is how basically it is very much important for us to understand the study for hormones so talking about the ductless glands those organs or those body parts from which the hormones are being secreted those are known as effectors and the hormones if they are attacking or if they are functioning on a particular substrate or on a particular place if that particular hormone is acting on a particular cell and that basically that cell is basically known as acceptor so in that case basically we have discussed about that is effector and the acceptor and based on that Obviously, suppose if we talk about the thyroxine, so suppose if thyroxine is secreted through the neck, but it increases the consumption of our oxygen in our body. And that is how basically it has wide application. So talking about the other examples also. So this is what we have discussed about thyroxine. And suppose if we talk about the other hormones, for example, if we talk about that is adrenaline and noradrenaline. So these are nothing but they are the derivatives of the amino acids and they are itself hormones. And the main function is to increase the metabolism of the glucose in our body. And that is how basically they are very much important. So talking about the other hormones, for example, estrogen and progesterone. So these are are basically the hormones these are known as sex hormones and which are present in women and talking about that is estrogen so estrogen is present in the male and that is how basically because of this two hormones they differentiate the function and they differentiate the characteristic of that is male and a female and this were all is short example related to the hormones so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe you channel thank you so much